Hello, um, I'm Alexandra Jones. I'm the editor of The Ophthalmologist and I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Mohamed Sayed today. Uh, could you introduce yourself, please, and tell me a little bit about your practice? Thank you, Alexandra. I'm Mohamed Sayed. I'm a uh, glaucoma specialist, cataract and anterior segment surgeon at the Glaucoma Institute of Neovision Eye Center in Vero Beach, Florida. And I'm also on the uh, teaching faculty of Florida State University College of Medicine. I'm glaucoma fellowship trained at Bascom Palmer Eye Institute, and I was on the faculty of Bascom Palmer before joining private practice. Thank you. Uh, we're here today to talk about uh, the Ahmed Clear Pass 250. So my first question to you is about the benefits um, of the Ahmed Clear Pass uh, 250 as a true single quadrant implant. Could you tell me about that? Yeah. So in fact, the um, Clear Path 250 is is now my go-to uh, glaucoma range implant. Um, simply because it gives me everything that um, I need in terms of pressure lowering, in terms of efficacy, uh, but at the same time um, it gives me the ease of insertion um, and as a busy surgeon I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I do a lot of glaucoma surgery and cataract surgery. Um, I can fit this into my busy schedule um, because it really takes a short time to do because I don't have to isolate the rectus muscles, um, unlike like the barbell implant, for example, which is the equivalent non-valved um, implant, uh, where actually it takes significantly longer and it's much more traumatic um, to um, isolate the rectus muscles. But you know, the barbell, to, the clear path 250 actually sits between the two recti and um, it, it's just the ease of insertion is, is great and it's minimally disruptive to tissues. One other thing is the flexible material that um, the clear path has got. So it's very malleable. You can actually, um, which we're going to talk about, um, you know, you can actually fold it in the fingers and insert it through a small incision. And one other benefit is that it's really low lying. It has a very low profile. It doesn't have a ridge um, as compared with the barbell implant, which really gives a diffuse low lying bleb. And, you know, I believe that this might be responsible for uh, the very low pressures that we get. Um, with the clear path, um, it's 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 very nice in that regard. Really, you can't you can't really like see the like you know where the the bleb starts. It's just it's all diffuse. It's nice. Um, I love the blebs that I see with the clear path. And um, if you look at the design of the clear path, you will see that the fixation eyelets are anteriorly placed, which means that you don't have to go posteriorly as much as you would with, for example, the barbell tube. Um, if you're putting the barbell tube at about like, you know, 10 millimeters from the uh, limbus, you can actually place the Ahmed uh, clear path about like, you know, seven or eight millimeters because really the eyelets are anteriorly placed. And it comes with a pre-placed um, ripcord suture. So um, it's just like, you know, it's, it's very time efficient. That's great, thank you. And could you tell me specifically about the technique that you that you use for implanting the Ahmed Clear Path uh, 250, um, and how your methods evolved over time uh, into trying this? And do you consider this um, this solution close to MIGS? <laughs> of course. So, you know the technique that I currently use is the taco technique or the small incision, which like, you know, uh, was first described by um, Dr. Paul Singh. Um, and I've done so, so many of those. And um, I modified the technique like over time, just like with any surgical procedure, the more you do, like, you know, the, the more you kind of like, you know, personalize your technique and, and have your own personal tips and tricks. Um, so what I do is, um, you know, make a small incision, limbus based pyridomy, and I insert the rolled or taco um, 
clear path 250 into that small incision and it's really really quick and it takes like you know about like you know 15 minutes or something like you know maybe 20 minutes um, and this this actually is a great um, advantage when you combine it with cataract surgery and I do a lot of these combined procedures um, and I jokingly um, say that like you know it can be considered a MIGS of course it's not really uh, a MIGS procedure but uh, it has all the pros and cons of a major glaucoma surgery but it really is like you know you can fit it into your busy surgical schedule without like you know booking like you know an, an hour slot for for the tube or anything like that so it's really um, you know time efficient and minimally disruptive to tissues minimally traumatic the other thing is um, we use it as an alternative to trabeculectomy because trabeculectomy is the gold standard. It's still the most commonly performed operation for glaucoma worldwide, and it's considered the gold standard glaucoma operation. However, uh, there has been a, a shift in the practice patterns, particularly in the U.S., towards the use of glaucoma drainage implants uh, more into like you know in, in the primary glaucomas like before any other surgery like as a primary glaucoma surgery and uh, this is partly thanks to the results of the trabeculectomy versus tube study and uh, with this shift in practice patterns you know, the role of trabeculectomy in many parts of the United States has, or like in many practices, has like, you know, diminished. And in my particular practice, it has really been limited to normal tension glaucoma or in patients who um, you want to achieve a target pressure in the very low teens or in the single digits. Now with the clear path 250, I really can achieve these kinds of pressure without having to do a trabeculectomy which has its like own set of disadvantages uh, i get low pressures like low teen pressure or single digit pressures and almost like in, in a very high percentage of my amet clear path 250s so this is a great perk um the, like we said my technique has evolved over time so initially i was not using a rip cord um I had a few hypotenuse and then I started using the rip cord that has like you know improved on that and um, you know I, I actually modified the technique of like you know not I, I now don't have to suture the um, patch graft um, and um, I make my pyridomy a little bit more posterior so my technique has evolved over time for sure Thank you. And could you um, explain uh, your ligation technique uh, for the Ahmed Clear Path 250, please? Of course. So actually, um, uh, a lot of surgeons reach out to me. So I was like, yeah, I think the tube um, is very difficult to ligate and achieve water tightness. And um, one of uh, my colleagues um, here in Florida, Dr. Mohammed Al Mala in Ocala, Florida, um, uh, came up with uh, with this technique that um, I have used very successfully um, over the past few months. So basically, uh, I keep the ripcord in, and I get a segment of 7 vicral sutures, and I wrap it. I do a loop before doing three one one. Uh, throws. So I loop it once around the tube, then make my initial three throws followed by one throw followed by one throw. I actually like, you know, personally prefer to throw in a couple more. So I do like, you know, three, one, 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 one. But um, basically the loop is really what makes all the difference. You achieve water tightness, you know, in almost 100% of your cases from the first trial. And, um, but one key thing that um, I always recommend is like, you know, try to tie the, the vicral ligature with your fingers, not with instruments, not with um, needle drivers. Uh, it's It gives you a feel on how much like, you know, pressure you can exert 
or how much like pulling you can exert and it it really is like key to achieving water tightness from the very first trial dr sayad Thank you so much for talking us through your techniques um, and how you deal with your complications, your outcomes. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Pleasure is all mine. Thanks for having me.